Right, so the main aim of this video is to perform a full strip or teardown of the Sky HD box and hopefully with the intention of salvaging or retrieving the hard drive. Here you can see the viewing card um, in the slot here, you know, it's pretty basic. The construction of the box is, is pretty much basic and shouldn't be hard to, to work out, you know, you've got the play buttons, the stop buttons, you know, the luminous, you know, play play button. Used for recording catch up programs and at the back you've got your SCART, you've got your audio, your video, your HDMI, your PC interface, your Ethernet, your antenna and your satellite port. So I'm going to take out them two screws from the back of the um, of the box. Just take note of cognizance that this is an older Sky HD box. The more the more recent or conventional Sky um, boxes are the property of, of Sky Limited. So just make sure that you're not you know stripping down um, the more recent ones. Okay. You know, and outside of um, retrieving the hard drive from from this box, you can also you know use the the PCB boards on the inside to understand circuitry, um, circuits. You know, you can also use it for fault finding or for 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 your you know mini projects. You know, just to understand how you know circuits work and, and stuff. If you're interested in electronics, so after taking up them two screws, you turn the the box upside down and you lift up um, you know them two plastic clips that you've got you know on opposite sides of the of the box and slide the um, silver uh, made in um, piece assembly you know just slide that out you know the silver assembly type piece com comes out relatively easily so you know just here I'd lift up the, the plastic and you know try to slide out the um, the silver plastic piece in this case this is an old legacy box so the box is the property of the customer so always check with the provider just to make sure that you know you can make modifications to the board uh, you know or you know you, you if you want to sell the bo box or if you want to discard it just make sure you check with your provider okay so here i'll be taking up the warranty seal probably it's been um you know stuck on there you know as, as a tamper proof you know to prevent you know anyone from you know um, servicing you know this model of of the sky box the next step would be to to take out the sub assembly or the main box from the main assembly um, or from the box itself so or from the casing so i'd lift up the um the black plastic and you know try to slide out the the metal casing um you know sometimes i also use like the aid of a screwdriver to to get this out you know if it's um proven relatively difficult to, to slide it out so just get yourself some Phillips head screwdriver and you should be fine okay you know I intentionally left the, the smart card in and you can see you know I'm trying to wiggle it out and it's a little bit little bit difficult so just make sure the smart card is out before you try to um, take out the metal casing okay So basically here you've got buttons on top of the panel, in front of the panel and the black and white plastic, you know, it's just got LEDs in it, you know, flashing different colours or, or spectrums of light. And over here you've got the green, yellow, red and white LEDs, you know, it's just indicating standby and um, you're good to go or, you know, the the um, the box is off, you know, just basic LED um, ind indicators. So the next stage would be to take off the um, the top case and in order, in order to do that we'd need to get, you know, the 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 bottom, you know, PCB off. And you know, if you haven't got nose pliers, you can use your regular your regular pliers. All you need to do is just to align you know the the metal brackets that's used to secure the PCB onto the metal case and just align them back into the original holes in which the the, the firmly secured secured to. So just turn them, make them aligned. Make sure they're, they're really aligned with the with the elongated holes, and you know you'd be able to get the PCB off. You know, relatively easily. The next step would be to take out the connector cable and just pull that up and hopefully that comes out with minimum hassle. 
just very little force is, is required to take out the um, the cable and um, subsequently I will be fine tuning the the metal tabs and um, you know on the um, single sided board um, just fine tuning the um, the metal tabs and which will enable me to take out the um, the board so a single sided board you know basically you know has conductive um, copper and components mounted on one side of the board and the conductive wiring connected on the other side, which you can which you can see. But all I'm concerned with at, at this point in time is just to fine tune, you know, the metal tabs, you know, to, to get out the, the board. So there are about three or four of them tabs remaining, so just fine tune them wherever you find them. Just fine tune them and then get the board out. So on top of the box, we've got metal clips that are tilted, you know, anti-clockwise to secure um, the, the metal casing. Um, all we need to do is to use like you know nose pliers or regular pliers to tilt the metal clips in the um, clockwise position to free up the casing. And so from here onwards, you know, once once I'm done, you know, um, on doing all the me metal tabs, you know, I just kind of like use a screwdriver to lift up the um, the panel, the top casing. So here we can see, um, you know, the transformer the interconnect um you know and the sata cable and um, so basically um you know i'd want to get the top board out and to do that you know i'd need to undo the knots on the satellite um, port connection um as well as the hdmi and the um serial port And like I said, the next step would be to take out the screw on the HDI connection and on the um, serial port. And the next step would be to take out the screw from the triangular ESD symbol, which stands for electrostatic discharge. So just be mindful about static. And once removed, um, from then on onwards, um, proceed to, to remove out the cable um, connections. So here, I just cut out the cable tie with um, a standing knife. It's, um, it's going to probably fly out. You know. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself. And the next step here would be to take out, you know, the another cable um, connection. Then, you know, with the SATA cable, rather than yanking the cable out, there is a lever underneath the cable. Just clutch onto that, you know, press the lever and, you know, the SATA cable should come out relatively easily. And so from here onwards, you know, after providing clearance for, you know, for them cables, the next step would be to take out the tall board interconnect. Um, you know, just take that off from the bottom board and, and see where that goes. Right, so I think we've just managed to um, to get the main processor board out on here, which is what I've got in my hands right now. Um, this is the board where you've got all your port connections, you know, like your HDMI, your satellite, you know, your, your Ethernet, serial port, um, USB, and so on and so forth. And whilst flipping the um, the main board, um, you know, to see some of the components that we've got in there, um, I can see, you know, like a chip that's been shared between them two satellite um, connections or ports, as well as three RAMs sat by the main microprocessor, just you know, underneath the um, the heatsink. Computers um, generally, you know, need a heatsink to work efficiently because. Um, the microprocessors or the processors um, generate um, a lot of heat, um, you know, when, when they're working or performing, you know, multiple tasks. So I'll take this off now. Um, it doesn't look like it was stuck on, you know, too rigidly, um, you know, in order to access the main um, CPU or the main chipset. And here, just underneath, I'm pretty sure it would see the, um, the main chipset. Um, yeah, if I bring that closer, that's a Broadcom, you know, chipset that drives the, you know, the whole um, box or the skybox. So back looking into the main board, we've got the power supply unit just right about where we've got the transformer, you know, right in between, you know, where we've got the high voltage area and the, the low voltage area, the, the high voltage on, on the left hand side and the low voltage 
on your right hand side you've got a couple of components you know bridge bridge in both um, compartments you know but you know you've also got slots there to prevent you know hopefully any any sort of bridging and on the right hand side we've got some analog and digital circuitry you know basically analog and digital audio this smart card area also encompasses an AXP chip usually handling voltage conversion for the smart card interface you know between powering the smart card and you know um, talking to the um, CPU and also we've got a basic microcontroller for the microchip presumably providing some form of bus logic communication between boards and the CPU so we've got the hard drive cable that's right in front of the ribbon cable that's already been disconnected so you know the next step would be to disconnect the um, hard drive cable then also proceed to disconnect the cable tie with a standard knife as well so uh, the next step would be to disconnect the you know the cable first then also disconnect the the SATA cable the SATA cable has got a lever so don't just you know wriggle it out you know press the lever to get the SATA cable out you know I've taken out the the cable okay that's a lever there and also the SATA cable too as well you know press the lever to get it out yeah so in order to get the metal tabs out I'll you know and um, realign the metal tabs you know with the um, holes in situ so you know tilt them you know in a clockwise direction to align with them holes and also take out the screw so I've got two there and one screw which I will be taking out so next we'd need to take out three screws on the side of the drive that holds the drive you know also in position then as soon as them three screws come off then I'll then proceed to um, extract the hard drive. And that's what we've got here. I'll spin it around so you can see it. You know, it's a Seagate hard drive, I think about 3.5. And um, 500 gigabytes um, worth of storage. Right, so from this step onwards, um, I'll proceed to um, extract the fan. You know, I disconnected it previously, but I just unscrew it from the side of the, of the casing. And also, um, you know, um, strip down the power circuit. You know, pretty much any any screws holding the power circuit in, in position and, and the fan should be um, undone. And, um, you know, you probably have most, all of the components, you know, in the um, Skybox build and pretty much um, you have them extracted. And also, in order to format or, you know, read the hard drive on your computer, um, you could get like a 3.0 USB to SATA adapter cable um, for either 3.5 or 2.5 inch SSD slash HDD drive. Um, in this case, you know, I think this is a 3.5, so that's what you need. You might also have um, adapters that for 3.5 and 2.5 or adapters that just bespoke for a 2.5 or either, you know, or a 3.5. If you found the information in this video useful, um, don't forget to subscribe and um, like and share. More importantly, you know, it helps the channel grow um, and hopefully catch up with you soon. Bye for now.